Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! So, last time, we defeated the boss here, and well, now we can use this warp here. You can take it right back to the gate, or the entrance of Mount Gagazette. And you can also, from that warp point, you can go to various points between here and there. Like the cave entrance, or like the middle of the snowy mountain outside, or, well, back to the exit here, obviously. And there'll be more of these that we can unlock later on, too. But, uh, well, one thing at a time. Let's, uh, move on and head to Xanarkand. We're finally going to be getting there today. Yeah, the mountain kind of looks onks-colored to me. That's why I named the last episode the way I did. A city dead for a thousand years. I needed some something with, with an accident. A city I had to see with my own eyes. I'm amazed the buildings are still still standing after a thousand years like that. The end of like journey. I wonder how uh, Unaleska keeps up the place. The last chapter in my story. I mean, you'd think with all the monsters running around, that, you know, the buildings would get destroyed. My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Even though I'm talking incessantly. Yuna, I say nah. no. You said if that you me, five hours ago. You'll... We'll get the final Aeon. Doesn't mean we have to use it. Just gotta go there, pick it up, and Rick, well, then we'll think about it. You're a true friend, and I thank you, but... Shut up. I must go. No, nah, no, nah, just kidding. Just kidding. Down to Santa Kent. Anyone got a parachute? I'm not saying we shouldn't go. But shouldn't we think about it some more? I'm not saying we shouldn't There's go, but... There's some kind of way we can save you, Yuna. Shouldn't we just not go? All my life. Wait, what? I knew this moment would come. Uni. Funny how the way down is a lot faster than the way up. I mean, where we fought the they boss, that was the everything. peak of the mountain, wasn't it? At least I thought it was. Or was that where we fought Seymour? Don't say that, Uni. I don't know, it just seemed like we were going up through that cave. Like when we were climbing those stairs and all that stuff, but... Uh, I don't know, it's hard That's to it. get sp you. perspective. What was that thing that Yuna dropped there, anyway? No. You can tell him yourself. Hmm? What did Sid do? Please. Uni, don't say that because we're gonna see each other again, okay? Maybe you can Come just on. become an unsent. Let's go. Like uh you know Leska did. I mean she summoned an Aeon and defeated Sin. And she's still around, but hmm. Kinda looks like a sphere. Is it a radio or something? Or I don't know. No, no, just kidding. Who's your daddy? Oh, right, sin. Moment of silence for Robin Williams, viewers. Okay. Sir Oren, Kimari told me when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, oh, yeah. it was you who told Kimari, right? Oh. I had always wanted to meet you someday. Well, I am explain. truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. I would think you know would have met Oran. If I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. I mean, they That's were both at I'll the bell there. I mean, maybe they yes. just. Uh, I will challenge Sin. I will they, defeat they didn't Sin. Or if you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. Oh man, she and recorded so this I. way earlier in the game. I, I think this is I the suppose. one right at uh, what is it? Anyway, the Mehan High say, Road. Yeah. Sir Oren, uh, I thank you. Like a sir. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? The day that I was, I was only telling seven. you about. My father had defeated Sin. And all Bavel was celebrating. They had front row Everyone seats. Saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. 
But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. What, you didn't know? Now, I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town. What, no, you, away what, from uh, the celebrating crowds. Braska didn't, like, give you a babysitter or say, hey, um... Where my father and I had parted. You should stay with there, someone else. Alone. I could see the fields where he had fought sin. Then... I mean, what, did he expect Oran to take care of her for the rest of you his life? You said you were looking for the daughter of Braska, remember? At first, I was so scared. Until I realized what a gentle person So at this you point, are. Yuna had, what, two aeons? <laughs> Seems a little Weren't early for her to, to be doing to children. this. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. Sounds like that a it was dangerous the child kidnapper. Of a man facing death. I think Nuts. I cried then. Because that that was when I knew my father was dead. I cried and on the I inside. I would never see him again. You just held me without saying a word. Well, he I usually cried doesn't. after we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, Don't go! Don't go! And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, you paid the rent for thank me. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I've always liked your broken horn. <laughs> Wait, what about his broken Maka. horn? Lulu. He doesn't have the broken part. I'll never forget my days spent with you. Growing up in Besaid. We Make always me do played chores. together. Us and Chapu. Cleaning up the That's house. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway. You grounded I'm me for sorry. a week. I've always wanted to apologize. Oh, or... Nah. You know, when you tried to stop me then... Really, I was happy. I could. I tell love putting the really fear of death into people. Cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No, I think you really were. So let's see. Waka's in his what? His early twenties or something? So let's see. That would have been what about else? ten years ago. Yeah, I suppose they're about <laughs> old enough to I love watching be you play Blitzball, Waka. like a big, big brother or sister to Yuna. <laughs> I even Little love it when you that, scold but, me, yeah. Lulu. You must really? be a masochist, Yuna. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Isn't Oran the newest guardian? The star player of the Xanarkand Apes. Oh. You are. I can't remember your name because they keep on changing it. Well, um, Not to mention, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm glad. Nah. Well, I suppose Oran is the newest guardian, at least at that point in the plot. I mean, he, he asked, what, he, he said, uh, so, can I become a guardian? And so then he says, oh, by the way, like, uh, Titus, yeah, he's got to tag along. So I guess technically Titus became a guardian after Wonderful. that point, but whatever. But it hurts sometimes. Hmm. She was already in love with him back then? What did he do? I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for well, I guess everything. he's the only boy remotely her age in the group. And well, maybe, Locke is kind of like a brother to her, so. Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all. Well, that happens sooner or later. I'm afraid. I mean, that, even if... Uh, Everything no, works out just fine. I, I mean, you'll that. die at a later time, that's all. I'll do that part over. Oh, guess you forgot about that one, huh? What you up to? Oh, right. He just kind of rudely interrupts her. Well, not really rudely, but whatever. Now well, we're almost there. Is there anything over there? No. No. Just kind of looked like they put something there. I don't know, probably just to screw with people like me, like, there's gotta be something over- No, no, there's nothing there. But it looks like there should be something over there. 
Can I do anything up here? Nah. Yeah, they did it to me again. Well, wow. the way the rock wall was kind of moving there, it kind of looked like a waterfall for a moment there. Hey, I can see my house from here! Oh, right, his house is a boat. Yeah, it wouldn't be around anymore. Forgot about that. Oh, well. Yeah, there's no enemies up here, but there will be enemies down there! Hey, this place looks kind of familiar. Have I seen this place before? Oh, I mean, besides Xanarkin. I mean, the buildings do kind of look familiar, even though they're kind of all tore up and everything. I thought about somehow cliffhanging you guys right there and then starting the episode here as though I was starting the LP from scratch and faking you out, but I already did that joke. Many, many times. So, and besides, it wouldn't work here anyway right now, because I'm not barely ten minutes into the episode. So, oh well, whatever. Can't always get the cliffhangers I want. I don't really plan those things out. I just kind of stop whenever I feel like it or whenever it's convenient. Ah, it's just like the intro. So the whole game was basically a flashback? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of reminds me of, uh... I'm trying to remember a game where you start at the end, but then you flash back to the beginning, and then you develop your party, and it's probably different the way you get there. I'm probably thinking of Chrono Cross, where you have that dream sequence there, like, that takes you to about the middle of the game, and then you go back to the beginning and well that's not really a flashback because that was just a that was more like the other way around where you uh you see the future but then you come or whatever it is i don't know i probably spoiled too much about the game anyway if you haven't played it yet very good game by the way play chrono cross Listen to my story. Well, at this least you got a good sunset now. Maybe our last chance. And now I'm going to be telling my story for the next 30 hours it took us to get here. No. No. Hey, Riku, remember way back at the beginning of the game when we got attacked by Sin and everything? Ha <laughs> ha! Good times! Doesn't really seem like a good way to relax before yeah, there was more, you know, right? finally saving the yeah, world. I mean, like and everything. that time, uh, anyone? Yeah, before we go to Xanakin, can we take a break yes. and uh, talk about all the bad things stop. that happened to us along the way? Maybe. For Doesn't now. exactly sound like the best plan. Yeah, why don't you just stop talking? Ooh, good music. Quiet time. I'll be honest, the first time I got here and heard this music, got me a little choked up. But anyway, we got a save point there, but I'm not going to use that right now. Let's keep on going. Yeah, this is, like, probably my favorite part of the game. One of the very emotional parts of the game for me. You can tell how much I empathize with the plot or cutscene by, by how much I talk during them. As such, you can probably tell I don't really empathize with most of the plot, but oh well. I mean, it's okay. I just, I just like talking a lot. I guess just it's a Bailey curse. It just uh, kind of helps pass the time during the cutscenes when I'm not actually doing anything in the game or something like that. Looks like the far plane. Close enough. 
Oh, right. I was going to say, how would you know? And I was like, oh, right. He's been here before. Yeah, pretty much. Same difference. I was going to say, I wonder why no one's done anything with Xanarkin in the past thousand years. I mean, you'd think, okay, so, well, someone won the war. You'd figure someone would come here to colonize or repopulate the area or, you know, at least tear down the buildings and do something with the place. I mean, now there's all these pyro flies and everything and fiends, but I, I would have thought back then they would have... Yeah, we're doing okay there. Yeah, I would have thought back then, you know, there's probably not a... Well, yeah, I suppose they did kind of kill everyone here, but... Well, whatever. But anyway, before moving on into the dome, I guess that's where we played the Blitzball game at the beginning, we got some uh, sphere grinning to do, so let's do that. We're getting pretty close to the end of all of these. And, and there's a lot more long, narrow hallways along the way. You know, it's funny how I usually don't like uh, games with a plot that I just really don't empathize with or uh, or they have, like, very long, narrow hallways. Oh, we're at the end of Rika's Grid, so that's good. But, you know, for some reason, when you, like, put a game with a plot like that, and long narrow hallways together, it, it works for me for some reason. I, I guess it's just like, even when the plot dies down, or I just don't really care for a particular part of the game, if there's a long narrow hallway, I don't really have to worry about where to go. It just keeps me moving. I, I don't think about, you know, what my objectives are, or I don't even really have to understand what's going on. I mean, heck, I've played this game at least five or six times, and I, uh, I still don't understand everything about all the dreams and faith and all that stuff. I mean, I I basically understand. I mean, it's not like I'm totally confused or clueless, but, you know, I don't know everything. But yeah, I mean, with long narrow hallways, I can just keep going. I might take Oran over here to get those uh, strength nodes there and before going back, and maybe even the MP node there, too. That might be pretty good. And then I'll probably go back and get the zombie attack and all that good stuff there. Now, of course, the ideal scenario with the game would be to have a balance of, uh, of both an interesting plot and fun dungeon mechanics, like Luthia 2, but well, not every game's going to be like that. And, well, that's okay. I can enjoy a game that's not perfect in every respect. I've got a couple of level 4 key spheres, so that'll help me with uh, Oron there later on. And we're getting close to the end of Yuna's Sphere Grid as well. Well, everyone's getting there, but I can see the end. I can see the light. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, let's take a look at the end here. We've got Holy there. That's pretty much what you're really looking for. But just because we're at the end of Yuna's part of the Sphere Grid, it does not mean that we are close to the end of the Sphere Grid in general. We will be getting there soon enough, viewers. We're going to be filling out the entire sphere grid. But what awaits us inside the dome of Xanarkand? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. And by the way, if you know, you know a really good strategy for the next boss, uh, let me know. I mean, I know how to deal with it, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. But, well, it's... I don't know. I'm just not quite satisfied with it. I think it could be done more efficiently than what I already know. So if you know anything special, let me know. I mean, besides getting, like, berserk proof or something. Thanks a lot. See you next time.